I wanted to do an update on our doctor's appointment that we had back a week ago at the regional perinatal center. I said I would come back on and do an update, so that's what I'm doing. And I I think it went really well. In my opinion, it went very well. It could have gone way worse. And um, we came back with some pretty good information. The doctor that we met with, first of all, was awesome. He was a talker, which works for me because I'm a talker too, obviously. And so one of the things that he had said was the fact that, first of all, let me go back. If you haven't watched any of my videos prior to this one, let me give you a quick update. So back in April of this year, I was diagnosed with having preeclampsia around 30 weeks of my pregnancy with our son. And within six days, it progressed from mild to severe. And we ended up losing our son at 31 weeks and three days. We, I had said in that video that we had an appointment at the regional perinatal center um, coming up. So we went down, the doctor was great. He had a lot of great information. He said that we are the only mammal to get this. And I didn't realize that that there are no other mammals that get preeclampsia. So it kind of makes sense that they don't know that much about it because they can't do any animal testing. They can't follow any other mammals. We're, we're pretty much it. We are it. So that was an interesting fact. He also said that with our case, he thinks in his opinion that our chance of getting this, I don't know if he meant preeclampsia altogether or the severe form that I had along with eclampsia and help syndrome, he said, in his opinion, it would be 5%, which is great. He also said that our chance for another third trimester loss is under 1%, which also kind of goes along with what one of the doctors at the practice that I go to where I live, he had also said that it's practically zero for another third trimester loss. Does that mean it can't happen? No, it could. I don't want to think that it could, but it could. So those numbers were really good to hear because I know some people who have it way worse and they're told you have a 50% chance or something like that. So that was pretty cool to hear. Other than that, he didn't recommend that I needed to be seen as of right now. I don't need to be seen down there. I can continue going to the practice that I go to up here, which is awesome because I know some people may be like, I don't want to go back to that practice. They may put blame on them, but I don't put blame on anybody. I can't think like that. It's just not fair and it's um, just not how I think. In my opinion, I want to go back to the practice that I was at before because there are a few of the physicians there that I feel like I've almost bonded with now and they know my case and I don't want to start over somewhere else. I really would like to stay with them. So uh, for the next pregnancy, I'll stay where I was before. And, you know, the doctors that I have up here, they are already, they have a plan in place. I will go on low dose aspirin. He said they recommend it nine weeks is when you would start taking low dose aspirin. So I will be doing that for sure. And you know, it might not prevent it from happening again, but at this point it's like, does the benefit outweigh the cost? And I think it does. And every doctor that I've talked to agrees that low dose aspirin would be the way to go for the next pregnancy. At this point, I am not scheduled for any other doctor's appointments. It's just it kind of is what it is at this point. Chris and I have talked about trying to conceive again and we're kind of on the opinion of we will probably try sooner than later. So that leads me to I will most likely do TTC videos. I wanted to the last time and didn't for whatever reason. I didn't feel like I should. But this time I definitely want to do TTC vlogs on this channel because I would really like to connect with people who have had this condition before. I could really use the support, let's just put it that way, because not everybody understands what it's like to go through what we went through. So I will most likely be doing those. I will probably have a video on ovulation testing because there are a couple questions that I have and while I could go Google it and do all that kind of stuff, I'd rather just post it on here and see if any of you have any insights on that. But that'll be for a future video. So at this point, I hope that, you know, the numbers that the doctor told us hold true. I hope that it doesn't happen again next time at all, but we'll see what happens. So, all right. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.